Hello again everyone, Edwin Learning back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about Pluto in the second house in an April chart. Now some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology channel, I did a series on the Pluto placements in the houses, and uh, they're a little bit concise. Some people may refer to them as snappy, so what I decided to do is make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, well, Pluto in the second house can be uh, comparable to Pluto in Taurus, but naturally you've got a blend in the zodiac sign with it. Uh, Pluto in Taurus in the second house can be different than Pluto in Scorpio in the second house um, as an example. Now Pluto in astrology is connected with our passion and desire. So there may be a very strong passion and desire just simply to generate, you know, money. You know, it could be um, acquire possessions, um, resources, and uh, developing a greater, you know, self-worth, self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, and also just having, you know, peace and stability. You know, matters with banking, buying and selling, you may be very passionate about uh, second house fields, Taurus related fields, you know, such as uh, agriculture, architecture, working as a pawnbroker, you know, gardening, cultivation, you know, finance. Those things you may express a very strong passion and a desire for. And um, it could be, uh, too, that you may even make money in a, a Plutonian you know, field, whether it would be you know, the occult, which includes astrology, or it could be working on an ins making money in insurance, or as a tax examiner, um, something with forensics investigation, um, you know, working as a mortician, coroner, surgeon, as some examples. Uh, Pluto is also connected uh, with our intimate connections. So, you know, these people may figure prominently in your income, the money you generate, uh, material items, your possessions that you acquire, but they also may be people that are very, you know, possessive, stubborn, even obstinate. They may figure uh, intimate relationships and connections may play an integral role in your, your resources and your self-worth for better or for worse. Um, but they may be stable as well, loyal, steadfast, they may figure prominently in matters pertaining to buying and selling, um, even with missing items, and um, whether it could be to your benefit or, or to your detriment, whether these people are losing your items by accident or misplacing them, or you know, these people are, are beneficial in helping you locate them. Uh, Pluto in astrology is also associated with power and control. So if you have Pluto posited in the second house in your chart, you know, power and control, you may desire that in terms of just having your peace, your comfort, you know, stability, creature comforts, you know, um, over your money, your income that you generate, you know, doing um, you know matters in buying and selling. Um, you know, just uh, having, you know, self-worth and having very good self-worth, self-esteem, feeling good about yourself, you know, matters with your uh, resources, you know, and also the development, you know, of uh, latent talents and abilities, being able to do so, say, when you're at, when you desire um, to do um, this and uh, being able to do this at your, maybe at your convenience, you know, having that control over and you know, making that time to do so and Pluto in astrology is also uh, connected you know with transformation and major change so if you have Pluto in the second house well at some point in time there may be some major change or transformation connected you know, with your self-worth your self-esteem how you feel about yourself um, a transformation may be made in a very, you know, kind of placid, calm, and composed manner. And it may be even your monetary situation matters with possessions, whether it's, it could simply be, you know, gaining a lot more possessions, having a lot more, or just obliterating a lot and having, you know, a, a lot less. Keep in mind, Pluto is very, you know, extreme in its expression. 
and also to um, it could be you know the transformation may be done in a very methodical deliberate and plotting manner um, as well and being very you may be very persistent you know in those matters it could also be the transformation of one's values at some point in time now uh, Pluto in astrology is also associated with rebirth regeneration uh, you know reviving resurrecting things and, if you have Pluto in the second house, it could simply be your monetary situation at some point is something that you know that you may have had previously. You know what you were doing to make money, something of that nature may be revived at some point. You know matters pertaining you know, to your self worth, your self esteem, how you feel about yourself. You know matters of self worth, your values. It could be something that is uh, at some point um, there may be a rebirth of values that you may have had previously and let go uh, to some degree. And also, um, you know, the, the latent talents and uh, um, abilities, the development of them, or just the general expression of them. And if you're going, you know, if say if you're resurrecting something such as a business, it may be done very deliberate, you know, methodical, plotting manner very composed like matter keep in mind that you know the second house again does correspond with the zodiac sign um, Taurus so that's why I'm saying you know, those things may be done in you know, a very uh, calm composed Taurian like manner and also um, Pluto in astrology is connected um, with death and endings it could be you know, figurative death the obliteration of things and um, you know this could be at some point where you decide you know to end or figuratively put to death certain values you know that were affecting you uh, to your detriment valuing you know putting value in the wrong things um it could be you know doing something it could be a monetary situation or maybe even you know, certain possessions um if they were not really doing you know you much good they were just you know say if you were taking you know, taking up space and not really you know doing anything for you as an example you know uh, certain creature comforts or resources um, may come to an end you know at some point for you and it could be also you know, maybe you know a certain uh, you know peace as well you know maybe something or something you felt may have been giving you some kind of peace in your life you know doesn't mean your, your peace in your life is obliterated completely but what it could be is that something that was you know what was giving you some kind of peace and you know, stability you know may come to an end but it doesn't mean it couldn't be replaced with something else now Pluto in astrology is also associated with support, uh, whether it be moral, emotional, or monetary support. Now, um, as far as, uh, you know, you may get, this could be a good placement for getting support in terms of your financial situation. And also, um, you know, if you're around, you know, when the passing of a significant other takes place, you know, keep in mind, um, Know, the second house is eight houses from the seventh that's why it's connected with the death of a significant other a marriage partner even an important friend uh, this is something where you may get that support for if needed and also to uh, you know if there's items lost you may get at least the help needed when necessary to develop your latent talents and abilities you, know, you may be very you know, encouraged by others to develop them um, it could be you know as well I mean keep in mind um, you know the uh, Pluto in astrology is also connected um, with surgery and trauma so if you have Pluto positive in the second house in your natal chart there may be you know, certain um, surgery trauma you know, keep in mind the second house does again does correspond with Taurus so there may be surgery trauma associated with the throat the neck uh, or the thyroid there may be um, you know surgery or trauma you may experience may really impact you know your self-worth your self-esteem how you feel about yourself your monetary situation your possessions uh, resources even 
and um, even the possible, you know, your thing is in your values as well. You know, you may be somebody that may simply, you know, if you if you experience something of a great traumatic nature, you may simply value life much more than you had previously, um, as an example. And you know, this is a, you know, having a, you know, displacement as well. It also shows, you know, people you just um, guard against being overly, you know, obsessed or fixated in terms of making money, and, you know, generating, you know, um, accumulating possessions, uh, displacement. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner sends stay well.